Hello and welcome back to this, our second video with Dalrana, the dark elf mage who has arrived in Skyrim. We're actually more or less back where we started the last video. Let's see if we can um, get down without dying, I suppose. Now, last time we kind of wandered around and just attacked a lot of things, so... We'll kind of head back. Oh. I swear I just. Nope, I didn't see movement. I'm lying. Oh, might have seen that deer. Anywho, let's head. Um, we'll head down this way. We'll head back towards Riverwood, I think. Oh, jump! Ah, oh, there's a camp there. Let's see what spells we've got equipped. There we go. Let's do that, shall we? Don't know how many of them there are, but we might be able to take them on. Come on then, you. Ha ha ha. That was a lot easier than I thought. I'll take the arrows, take the gold, I'll take the treasure map. That's sellable. Where did the other one go? Oh, that's him. Oh, that's sellable, definitely. Right, let's have a look through their belongings, I suppose. Black mage robes, definitely takeable. Oh, there's a bag there. Oh, carrots, no. Who needs food, eh? Ooh, hello, I'll take that. Because that's sellable. And we just got our first level up. So, let's head back down to the road. And then that way. And we'll head back towards Riverwood. And we'll level up once we get to Riverwood. What is the time? 1 p.m. Okay. Still got a few hours of daylight left. Let's run, 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 run. It's better she doesn't look so stupid when she runs now. Whereas, look at that. That's stupid running. <laughs> Looks like she's swimming. It's a very clear day. You can see quite a lot of Skyrim on a clear day. Anywho, let's run, 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 run. I'm beginning to get used to having it this in the third person, actually. I normally never play third person on Skyrim, but it makes it more interesting for you guys visually as we play through, that you can actually see Delrana. Now, obviously we're going to be, when we level up, we're going to be going at Magicka, because that is her most usable skill. Um, and probably I would have thought, seeing if we can put a perk into Destruction, Get some time at the forge, I promise you. So we're in we're in now, so let's level up. So we're gonna take Magicka. Boom. Um and then what have we got destruction? Cast novice level spells for half magicka, yes please. 
dual casting a destruction spell overcharge the effect into an even more powerful version. That's going to be useful. What have we got here? Okay. Yeah. So now we should actually be able to cast our spells um, for longer and therefore be even more badass. So let's have a look. The Riverwood Trader is everything. I don't really care what Some you have to say. Junk. Me, I call them right, well, we've got... You can have... Okay, you can have all of the arrows. Steel Battle Axe and... S yep, those two. What have we got? I might put those ones on. Okay, we... Really? Eight? Fine, you can have that. I think we'll wear those ones, so we may as well do that. Um, keep those. You can have that. You can have that. You can have that. We have a bound sword spell a spell type. We may as well learn that. We know we might need it at some point. We sell that. And we'll sell all of those. Oh no! Look at us. We Damn. are naked. Let's quickly pop those on. How do we look? Bad hmm. Not bad. We'll need a better hood to go with that, though, at some point. Maybe we what have you... Take a look. Have you got any blue maid robes? Circlet of Minor Archery. I don't think we need that, do we? Novice robes. Robes of Minor Restoration. Okay, so there's nothing really there that's useful. Oh, those are so expensive, but would be useful. Anywho... All right then. So let's actually quickly learn that. Why? Okay, Hunter's Treasure Note. That one we've already read. So this is the one we just picked up. So, oh, I actually know where that is. Let's go and find that now, shall we? Um, so we're going to head this way. Ah, uh, right, we're, we're going to head this way. And we need to cross the river. And I believe it's in... I don't know if it's this tree trunk. It is, look at that. Amethyst, some gold, petty soul gem, silver ingot and a gold necklace. Some of that is definitely sellable. Which is nice. So let's actually run back to the tra general trader um, here. We'll sell this stuff here before we head to White Run again. It would be really good if we could find someone to train us in destruction magic or enchanting, would also be good. I think those are going to be our focal points. Take a look. So let's sell what we've got there. So we've got, we picked up that gold necklace, um, that amethyst, and that silver ingot, because those are the things we aren't going to need. I think that's everything, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to keep the two iron daggers, because you never know when you're going to need those. It's a real shame about that ho the hood. The hood doesn't match up at all. Still, we might get to kill someone and steal something from them soon. Actually, for the sake of it, what what bonus do I get from that hood? Ah, who needs that? Increase my magic by 30 points. Not needed. That looks a little bit better. Let's actually have a proper look at her. Ah, there we are. Doesn't she look pretty? I went for the darker red in the eyes. I think that's 
fitting. This is literally the first time I've played a character who isn't an alchemist. So walking past with his ingredients is really, really difficult for me. Oh well. I'll get there, I'll get used to it. We need to focus more on enchanting with her, but enchanting is going to be a little way off yeah, I think, because that costs a lot of money. Not quite sure if I'm happy with the way they changed enchanting for um, Skyrim, because in Oblivion and um, Morrowind, uh, you could use any spell that you knew as an enchantment, um, which obviously you can't do with Skyrim. You actually have to learn the enchantment specific version of something um, in order to then re-enchant. So, you know, I don't know quite how I feel about that as a mechanic, because I can't imagine that if magic existed it'd be much different between knowing a spell and knowing how to enchant the same spell. I don't know. I suppose there's an argument to be made for either side of that. Anyway, for me it just doesn't work. Especially, um, like, because some of the stuff kind of makes sense that they've changed. Like, they obviously don't have levitation spells anymore, which was a big thing in Morrowind. Um, which I think they kind of ruled out because it meant that the level design kind of didn't matter because you could cheat a lot. Um, I say cheat, but I use that term loosely because obviously it fitted with the rules of the game. You were using something they gave you. Um, but it did kind of... It kind of removed the need for a lot of their level the area design. So I kind of... And they, they explained that away by having levitation spells outlawed. Um, which, you know, kind of made sense, kind of worked, I don't know. But the changes between like enchanting systems never really gets explained you just kind of have to accept that that's not how it works anymore which for a consistent world is a little bit confusing right so I might quickly try Arcadia's Cauldron and see if she does any training. I think she just trains in alchemy, which is a shame. Hmm. You look rather pale. Yeah, you just Could do training in alchemy. It's quite a problem back home. Nobody cares. You don't have what I need. Go away. Saying it's because of this trouble with the, the storm finest cuts fresh from the wilds. Exactly. Road patrols were cutting half of the yard. What quests have I got? Before the storm. And a lot of miscellaneous. Visit the College of Winterhold, kill the bandit leader at Halted Stream Camp, talk to Danica about the Gilder Green, talk to the Strange Jester and explore Crossroads Watchtower. I don't really want to do the companion storyline, I don't think. Well, I suppose we can talk to the Jarl. That couldn't hurt. I don't really want to do the main plotline um, like too early. Because um, I think that might be where we went slightly wrong with Yorinda. He overreached, I think. But, what can you do, eh? What can you do? I love the lighting effects. Just mm, beautiful. What would you What's the today? meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balbrook is not receiving Please. visitors. This is no time for rash action. I just think we need more information before we act. Well, I that explains why the guards let you in. Who's this? Come then? on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. All right. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Hmm. I 
Don't want to give them too much information. Right. What do you say now, Provensus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. The, the dragon is lurking in the mountains. Do that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. God prevent us as a moany well bastard. Done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. I don't need that, but thank you. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Hmm. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. <sighs> Come on then. Varengar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Yep, he did just say that. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Blood, well, blood, 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 when blood. When I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. <laughs> Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, no, you're not, a you stone cheeky bastard. To be in Bleak Falls Barrow, a dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Off this to is Bleak a priority now. With you. The Anything we can use to fight man. this dragon Neither or dragons. We need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Valbrook. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure she will prove most useful. You've succeeded this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Hmm. Why does the enchanting table look so demonic? Like, the alchemy table looks kind of a bit more homely and scientific than the enchanting table that's all like, here's a skull and a crystal ball and candles and it's all in black. Why is there not more of a negative vibe surrounding Enchanting, I wonder. I mean, it is using souls and stuff. It's a little dark. And loads of people use enchanted gear, so presumably they don't have a problem with the idea. It's just very confusing. Someone needs to give him Prozac. Calm him down a bit, like, mellow out, man. Because I'm a grey mane doesn't mean I can't earn my own keep. Right, let's sell some armor to her, because I don't want studded leather. That's, That's madness. Out here. The finest weapons in armor. Have some studded imperial armor. I don't want it. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. We don't know where the dragon is. Your main job will be to keep an eye on it. Whatever you say, Irileth. Oh, 
Right. Now we've got a number of options on how we proceed spell-wise. Um, particularly, is there actually a way back up there? Mm, the difficulty, but yeah, there is. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got a number of different ways we can proceed spell-wise, because obviously with the moment we've got lightning, fire, which we can now cast for a lot longer than we could before. A lot longer. Same with the sparks. We can cast them both together, obviously. Um, one thing we can also do... Right, let's have a look. Magic. So, say for example, we could do both at the same time. We can go... And obviously that burns through very quickly. We also now have that. Which, I'll wait for it to... Wait for enough magic to come back and I'll kind of... I'm I kind of assume that everyone knows how Skyrim works. It's one of those games that I don't feel like you'd be watching this if you hadn't played Skyrim. But for the sake of brevity and for the sake of completeness, I suppose I should very quickly. So yeah, we have Bound Dagger Sword? Bound Sword. Um, so it creates a magical sword. Like that. So we now have that glistening sword, which is, I'm assuming it works along the same as the old bound weapons, it's a Daedric sword. Um, which lasts for two minutes, or until I sheathe, and now I no longer have it. Um, yeah, so it's a Daedric weapon, I believe. I'm not sure if that's still the case. It used to be. Is there? There is. Oh, 11 gold. That was hardly worth. It's hardly worth taking. But there's a bed here if we wanted to sleep out in the open in this ruined house. I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but save spending money in the town. Um, I don't think we're going to be using bound weapons. It's not something that I think she would do. So I think we'll have flames on the right. We'll have sparks on the left. I think that will do us. If we need to, I'll actually quickly favour at that. And we'll favour both of those. Just so that if we need to, we can switch around. Now. The Halted Streams camp is probably going to be one of the more difficult ones. Because it's... Well, it's um, a lot easier to defend a lot easier to defend because it's fenced in um I'm trying to think what else we can do before we start advancing the rest of the plot line let's head back to white run and see if there's any other rumors abound because i don't really want to go and do bleak force barrows again so soon feels like we're only just there with yorinda quite like to do something different. It's a shame that um, some of the mods for the uh, con uh, for the uh, desktop version aren't available on console. There's a fantastic one called um, Live Another Life that basically gives you like a random starting point and a random backstory and you can kind of experience Skyrim from whole new angles. Uh, but unfortunately that 
relies on scripting which is unavailable on the console versions because console is a little bit more restrictive on what they will allow. A um, bit frustrating but you get by. So let's see if we've got any more rumours. Let's see if we can get the uh, Silent Moons camp because I feel like we'll be able to take them down pretty easily with our magic. Oh, probably push should put the magic away while we're in a town. Just want to make sure that Hulda isn't out here before I go in. Let's have a look, shall we? Because Hulda is likely to know. There she is. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say people say there is someone in Riften that can change your face, make you look completely different. Do you believe that? The companions in Yorvasku? Mm. They're recruiting new members from what I hear. Is that all you've got? <sighs> Apparently I so I assume once we've got one bounty letter they won't give us any more. Shame. So I'm not quite ready for this Halted Streams camp, I don't think. Hmm. Let's have a look at the map. Because Halted Streams is there, whereas we want the Silent Moons, which is somewhere over here. Halted Stream is doable, but it's just a little bit more... in-depth. We could go and do the... Um, Let's go. We could go and do the jester, couldn't we? Actually, let's go deal with the jester. That'll give us something to do. I don't think we get any combo out of it, but that's a shame. We also don't know which route um, Dalrana will take with this, actually, because she's very. She's a. Li hmm. Guess I'll be curious to see which route she would prefer to take. I'm kind of playing it by ear with her personality as to what I think she would do and what I think she wouldn't. Um, so it's going to be kind of interesting. Let's run, 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 run. I quite like that they removed athletics as a skill, actually. Um, mainly because you could easily cheat training up athletics. Um, the amount of times that I left Morrowind running when I was a kid with something holding the control stick pointing in the right direction and just let my characters run for hours. And by the time I came back, they had like 12,000 athletics and stuff like that. Um, right, let's run, 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 run. Somewhere along here is the Jester. Ah, that's the Battleborn farm, is it? Hmm, good to know. Ah, there is actually a tower near here that might be interesting to take a look at because I'm pretty sure there are bandits forgot about this tower. Where is it? It's probably just behind this ridge? There it is. Pretty sure there are bandits there. Let's go kill. Look at the way she runs with her hands out. Hmm. Oh. That was disappointing. I got here just as you guys finished dealing with it. I suppose I can at least take some of the stuff they had. Oh, steal from chest. Probably not a good idea with all those guards watching me. Ugh, oh, that was disappointing. 
thanks though. Let's go find this Jester. I think he's just along the road here. That's actually really disappointing. I was hoping to kill something. Ah! Cast my fire into the sky out of anger. Glad to see you stay in character even when you're not working. Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear sweet mother. Well, not her, her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home, a new crypt, but ah, wagon wheel, damnedest wagon wheel. It broke. Don't you see? Okay, you're crazy. Oh, oh, oh yes! <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me, but he won't. He refuses. Uh, convince Lorius to fix my wheel. Do that. And poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy, shiny coin. I want to kill him. I want to kill him. I want to kill him. I'm walking away slowly before I kill him. Like, who decided on that character? That character is mad. No one talks like that. For a second I thought that was one butterfly then. Like, just a really magical colour-changing one. But, oh my god, who wrote that character? That's... Like, I don't mean to be rude, that's not a good character. That's a ridiculous, over-the-top, highly unrealistic character. Does anyone playing this game find that character believable? Like, at all? I just need to try and find Lorius. Wherever... Lorius is. Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? That Cicero fella? Huh, tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. Well, there is something. There's a guard patrols the road that crazy jester is on. He passes by pretty often. You could report the fool. You know, say he's done something against the law. That will at least get rid of him for me. What do you say? I'll do it. Ah, wonderful. Like I said, the guard is down by the road. You really can't miss him. You tell him that jester is up to no good and he'll deal with it. Then come back here and I'll toss a few coins your way, yeah? By all means. I do not like that jester. He's crazy. And this is what the Rani would yeah, look at him standing there. Has no idea. You need something? Would you now? Well, spit it out. What's the matter? What about him? Hmm. War contraband, I think. What? Out there, that little fool. And right under my nose. My thanks for bringing this to my attention, citizen. 
Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Hmm. I kind of want to watch what happens. You there! Hold! Hold fast! You've been accused of a crime against the laws of this land. What say you in your defense? Wh what? A crime? Me? Preposterous! Poor Cicero is just standing here. Cicero loves order. Oh, yes. He would never disrespect the law. You look like a crazy man to me. And what's in that coffin, huh? Maybe some time in a cell will help loosen that lying tongue. Damn that Lorius. Oh, how he will pay for this treachery. You just keep quiet and stay where you are. Soon as my relief arrives, we'll all take a nice little trip. Unfair! Unjust! Cicero has done nothing wrong! Glorious will pay for his treachery! Oh, how he will pay! And you! You are no help! Not at all! Hmm, <laughs> my work here is done. Hmm, let's go take my 30 silver. That was a biblical reference for those who didn't get it. Well, is it done? Have you reported the fool to the guard? I have. Cicero won't be bothering you again, darling. Haha! <laughs> oh, I knew I had a good feeling about you. Here, my friend. A few septums to show my thanks, huh? <laughs> and may that twisted little jester rot in a cell for a fortnight. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. More than a few septums. 250. Not bad. How much are we at now? Oh, just over a thousand. Well, aren't we the rich one? I wonder if that storyline ever advances. I highly doubt it. It's a little bit frustrating though in some of those conversations that you only have the one line of dialogue to choose from. It's not exactly a choice if you have to if you only had the one. But oh well. Run, run, run as fast as you can, Delrana some point we will have to climb that but not for a while yet where are you all right hand over your valuables or i will gut you like a fish <sighs> nice try i am not going to ask again I don't have time for this. Don't you walk away from me. Fire. Never should have come here. Oh. May you walk up one sand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Oh, I did not mean to do that. My apologies. Ooh, an amethyst. One piece of gold. Are you kidding me? Uh, Side of armor I can sell. Oh. Huh. I wonder if the torturer's hood will go with my outfit. Hmm. Kind of does. People need to learn not to mess with those who are more powerful than them. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. Mm. One of those horrors comes here. Nobody cares. Anyway, I think we'll head back to Whiterun. Fortunately, we've not done a 
great deal today. We took on a bandit camp. Um, we found some lost treasure. We falsely accused a jester of a crime. And we provoked a thief and then killed him. Dalrana's not the most moral person, it seems. But she's not outright attacked anyone. Um, I think that's one thing in her code of honor, um, code of morals. It'd be interesting to discover more of what her code of morals turns out to be. But um, I think she's definitely got a thing that where she won't attack someone who has not attacked her first. So that definitely rules out the um, Dark Brotherhood storyline. Um, definitely can't. Yeah, definitely can't see her doing that. But, uh, you know, there are other options. Thieves Guild, perhaps. College of Winterhold. I guess we'll have to see where the mood takes her. Now. Let's get ourselves a nice finishing point. It's one thing I quite like with these videos is that I um, have that kind of cinematic end. Which, as you will have no doubt noticed by now, is always the thumbnail for the following video. Um, gives it a nice through line, a bit of a connection. It also kind of proves to you that um, I am not skipping anything out. Each video starts and ends, well starts where the previous one ended. Let's... You leave us elves alone. I think that's a nice, a nice spot to end, I think. We'll do that. And I think we will remove, and I'm not a fan of the torturous hood. Yeah, I think that's a good place to end. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video, um, where... Mm, I may be tempted to take on the Hopper Streams camp. If not, well, we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.